Today for New Music Monday, we're gonna look at the brand new album from New Electric Ride, and it's called Balloon Age. After a brief, almost cinematic opening, this album kicks into one of the grittiest, most exciting sounds that I've heard in years. The band instantly shows that they've found a unique middle ground between the classic 60s psychedelic sound and a very modern, almost lo-fi approach. And that combination allows these songs to have amazingly catchy hooks, both vocally and musically, but there's always this underlying growl and sense of attitude that is absolutely modern. This album is great because of all the different influences that you hear moving in and out on every single song. You'll find as much Sid Barrett here as you will Tony Iommi. And it's also clear that this band has spent a lot of time with Magical Mystery Tour, as well as the George Harrison song, Let It Down. Just check out the track Marquis de Sade. The balance you'll find there is blissfully insane. And this is one of those tracks you're gonna find yourself playing again and again and again and louder and louder every time. Now much of this sonic diversity is made possible because of the range and guitar tones that you're gonna find on the record. And this is clearly a band that in the best way possible is completely unafraid of mixing two sounds that at first thought might not go well together, but the way that they craft each and every line is the true joy of musical experimentation. That's really the cool thing here. New Electric Ride doesn't fall into any singular or even multiple musical category or genre. If I had to call it anything, I guess maybe I'd call it heavy pop psych? Is that a thing? Can we make that a thing? Even when the band does delve into the more traditional psych rock sound, it's just as good. But for me, it's really when they turn up the volume and turn up the energy that these songs jump into a world all their own. Whether it's one of many super tasty bass lines or a vocal that makes you sing along really loud. This record really has it all in every way possible and at the same time it's going to, as they say, expand your mind and your ears. The one thing you'll notice on this though is that the songs are very short when you think about the traditional idea of psych rock. But that in no way detracts from their sound and it actually makes them better. They almost have this punk approach where they get in, they make an amazing musical statement, and they get out leaving you wanting more. And to tell you the truth, that makes this record a lot more accessible for people who might not generally go after psychedelic rock. I mean, hell, there's even a song on this album that is a really good radio single if they needed it. I'm not kidding. Go check out the song, Bring What You Expect to Get, and you'll absolutely fall in love with it. It's got everything you need for a great hit single, especially the keys. Those keys are amazing. Look, do you like great music? If the answer is yes, then you're gonna love this album. It really is that simple. Honestly, the band has managed to make the perfect soundtrack for a summer afternoon, and on the Bite or Borrow It, Balloon Age is a 100% buy it right now. So that's what I got for you guys today. I hope you dug it. If you did, go ahead and click subscribe, leave a comment, click like, whatever you want to do. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook right here, and I'll see you guys again next time. <laughs>